Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to discuss how to calculate depreciation using reducing balance method. So what is mean by reducing balance method? This is the method that charge depreciation at a higher amount in the earlier years of an asset and the amount of depreciation reduced as the life of the asset progresses. The formula for depreciation under reducing balance method is net pool value times the rate of depreciation. So the formula for book value is equals to cost less accumulated depreciation. And we must note that the residual value is not included in the formula. Now we look at the first example. John Enterprise purchased machine on 1st of January 2019. So this is the date of purchase. And RM 130,000 is the cost of the machine, the residual value is RM10,000 and depreciation rate is 10%. So, accounting period ended every 31st December. So, you are required first to calculate depreciation expense at 31st December 2019. And the second one, we have to record at Adjust the general entry at 31st December 2019. The third one, we have to open depreciation expense account. Number four, we have to open accumulated depreciation account. And the last one, we have to prepare financial position statement as strike as at 31st December 2019. Now, we have to calculate depreciation expense, cost, less accumulated depreciation. But for the first year, there is no accumulated depreciation carried from last year. So, this is the answer. Debit depreciation, credit accumulated depreciation of the machine, 13,000. And now we have to open depreciation expense so debit depreciation expense the details is accumulated depreciation and at the end of the account we have to close depreciation expense and must record in in the income statement now we have to prepare accumulated depreciation for machine so we should record in the credit side and the details is depreciation expense 13,000. At the end of the accounting period, we must close for accumulated depreciation and record in the financial statement. Now, we have to prepare the statement of financial position extract. So we just focus on non-current asset. So, we must record the machine. This is the cost of machine, 130,000 less accumulated depreciation, 13,000 and you will get the amount 117,000. Now, we look at the second, the next example. Shirley Enterprise purchased an equipment on first January 2016. So this is the date of purchase. And this is the cost of equipment at M50,000. And useful life 4 years. And ratio value 7,000. And the depreciation, depreciation rate is 39%. So using schedule, calculate the depreciation expense using using uh, schedule, uh, no, no, using schedule, calculate, schedule, calculate the depreciation expense each year under declining balance method or 
reducing balance method. The second one, we have to prepare adjusted journal entry at 31st December 2019. So, this is the steps of preparing schedule. 1. Calculate depreciation. The formula is percentage times cost less accumulated depreciation. Number 2. Calculate accumulated depreciation from the date of purchase or fixed asset to the current year of fixed asset or in other words cumulative depreciation number three calculate book value the formula is cost less accumulated depreciation and the last one residual value the formula is cost less accumulated depreciation so this is the schedule for depreciation expense under reducing balance method for two for for the first year 2016 we have to calculate depreciation the formula is cost times the rate of depreciation we get 19,500 and accumulated for 2016 we got 19,500 and we have to calculate depreciation for 2017 based on book value, percentage times book value 30,500. So you get 11,895 and accumulated is the cumulative depreciation, you get 31,395. We just calculate for 2018 using book value from past year and you get 7,256. Then you get accumulated for 3 years of cumulative depreciation, 38,651. Now, the last one, 2019, you are given the residual value 7,000. So, cost. 50,000 less accumulated depreciation, 43,000, you will get residual value, 7,000. So when we calculate the depreciation at the end of 2019, we get 4,426. But we must adjust the amount to 4,349 because... When we want to get 43,000 accumulated depreciation, we have to calculate 43,000 less 33,651. 30, 30, 30, so we just get, we have to adjust the depreciation for 2019 with the amount of RM4,349. So from the schedule, we can see that depreciation expense reduce or decrease every year and for accumulated depreciation the amount is increased and residual value given in the question and this is the adjusted journal entry at the end of 2019 debit depreciation and credit Accumulated depreciation, 4,349. And that's all for today. Don't forget to watch my next video. Thank you.